Hello, welcome to another stream. This is stream one of 31. This is the first one in, in my uh, 31 days of horror uh, to commemorate October and Halloween, obviously. So um, we'll be playing 31 games, uh, 31 survival horror games over 31 days. Um, all of this is obviously, as before, to raise awareness for multiple sclerosis, which is a disease of the central nervous system. 23,700 Australians are diagnosed um, at the moment, have been diagnosed with that disease, um, and 11,400 of them have a severe case of it. That is, um, they cannot perform their normal work or it affects their day-to-day -day life. Um, because it's a, it, because uh, multiple sclerosis is a disease of the central nervous system, um, there is um, there there is a whole range of symptoms, and they can vary from person to person. Uh, for instance, one person will feel uh, extreme hot or heat or cold. Um, someone will experience extreme pain or uh, extreme um, um, fatigue. Uh, others will experience um, reduced motor functions or blindness. So it's a whole range of things. It's a horrible, hor horrible disease. Um, but hopefully, um, with enough awareness, people will start to understand it more. Um, at the moment, the only charity working to do stuff with MS is MS Australia. They provide services and, and support to people with MS, as well as fund research uh, into possible um, cures and the management of MS. Um, so, like I said, um, we're playing these games for um, for uh, the awareness of MS, and today we're playing Ghost House on the Sega Master System. I'm actually playing it on a real Master System, um, and this is the oldest of all the games that we're going to be playing. Um, it's 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 a ha Halloween themed game. It was released in 1986 on the Master System by Sega, and let's see if I can finish it in under 20 minutes. Pretty sure I can. It's not a very long game, so let's give it a crack. So the aim of the game in this case is just to, um, ooh, that was good. Uh, in this uh, in this game, um, the aim of the game is just to um, to kill Dracula. So there is five Draculas in the in this mansion, and I have to kill, oops, and I have to kill uh, all five of them, and then um, I can finish the game. So this is Dracula number one. So I, I think I can do damage to him like that normally anyway. Um, ideally what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to get um, a little um, stake that I can actually do more damage to him. But I might be able to just kill him with my spears. So oh damn it, I missed it. Damn it. Alright, so... Um, that thing that, that I tried to, to step on, that's actually the dagger. And I think I did it! Okay, he's dead. So that's one down. That's one Dracula down. So every time I kill Dracula, it actually refills my life. So, um, I want to kill him as soon as possible. Because that way I've got plenty of lives to, to deal with. Uh, let me see. Okay, so those blue guys usually carry the keys. You need keys. Oh, bloody, bloody hell. You need keys to even. Um, oh, crap. You need keys to open the. To open the um, coffin that Dracula's in. And then you can fight him. So, so, so this is number two. So there are five Dracula clones. Come on, I can do this. So this would be number two. Come on, I can do this. There we go. So that's two. 
So um, the other way to kill enemies is to um, step on them. So um, what I can do is I can try to jump on them, um, but yeah, it's not necessary. All right, got that. Oh, that's the worst. All right, so that's two. Ah, oh, damn it! I really needed that. Okay, so those things reveal your your health too. Okay, so here we go. Dracula number three. Oh crap! Ooh, that hurts. So that's fire, obviously. Um, there's nothing here that can instant kill you, but the, the those um, spider webs that that I was um, stuck on before. If an enemy um, hits you. They constantly deal out damage, so what will happen is, um, even a bat, because it's constantly hitting you, it'll just dra dra uh, gradually, like, eat away at your health. It's, um, it's terrible. Um, so, what I want to do... Come on, come down here and fight, you coward! Come on! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Damn it, I'm almost dead. Alright, good. Alright. So every time, like I said, every time I kill Dracula, it refills my health. There you go. So that's three. Now let's see. Ah, damn it. Now hitting those lights also, um... <laughs> oh, these guys kill you really fast too. And I'm so dead. Hopefully I can get some health. Oh. Yep, yeah, okay, so. So I died. So that's okay. Um, what I can do is from here. So I can come up here, get this. If I, j if I walk off the screen, this guy should despawn. There we go. Not a problem. That's the other way to kill them. There we go, and there's the other one. Come on. Now, this is a lot easier with the right tools. Um, there we go. Oh, I can do this. Alright, that's the last one. Th uh, well, the second last one and then there's this one there we go all right this is good This should be it. So, like I said, hopefully I can finish this in under 10 minutes. Or under 20 minutes. Should be able to.
There we go. All right. And now I can get out of here. And I should be able there should be like a a thing here. Should be a door around here somewhere. Okay, there's the damn door. So there should be a door around here and then I can get out and that should be it. Oh, every time you hit those lights it kind of freezes the world. Um, I've been trying not to do that because it buggers up the recording for some reason. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so, so I guess uh, it's in a random location every time. All right, and that's it. That's it, and that's the end of the game. So in 12 minutes. So there's really nothing else to say. That's Ghost Hell um, for the Sega Master System. So uh, that's the first of... Oh, whoops. So you just do do that all over again. Basically, you just keep doing that. Um, so the game essentially becomes a little bit harder, but I mean it's the same level design and everything, so nothing has changed. See, same everything, just a color palette. So anyway, um, so anyway, as I was saying, um, that's Ghost Hells. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as little as short as it was. Um, like I said, this uh, this has been made to promote um, or to um, raise aw awareness for MS. Please, um, please visit uh, MS Australia's website at msaustralia.org.au um, for more information and see what their services are like, and also for more information about MS in general. Um, it's it's um, it's quite I informative um, and helps helps you understand MS a lot more. Um, especially, like I said, it's a disease not too many people understand. Um, even a friend of mine who, who has been diagnosed doesn't really 100% understand it. Um, it's, it's just a very complicated um, um, disease. So anyway, so that's it. That's Ghost House. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget, there's uh, 30 more games I'll be playing. They are all, they're all going to be a lot better than this one <laughs> and a lot more interesting, a lot longer. Um, and and, and there are, there'll actually be some really, really scary games and some really, really unique games. So uh, stick around. Um, I hope you've, you've um, enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, until next time, or until tomorrow, um, this is Hyena73 signing out.